kind of like a nice texture to it. You can't see it, why am I showing you my hand? If you slap it on, it's gonna stay right where you slap it. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my August Boxy Charm box here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box and I've tried out most everything in here except for one product. So I won't be able to really give you a lot of feedback on that product, but everything else I've tried. So I will be able to give you some little mini, like mini reviews, first impressions, blah, 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 like I normally do in my subscription box videos. So yeah, let's get into it. So the thing in the box that I have not tried out yet is this product, and this is a skincare thing anyway, so I would really have to try it out for a longer period of time to give you more information about it, but I'll be able to at least, you know, read some info to you about it, and we'll look at it, and we'll smell it, and look at the texture, and at least a first impression on it. So this is the Alote, Alote, A-L-O-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Time Repair Serum, and it's a value of $48. It says, Time Repair Serum is a powerful age-defying skincare complex fortified with alpha and beta hydroxy acids to smooth away dead skin cells and powerful antioxidants to protect skin from damaging free radicals. Formulated for all skin types, this non-irritating lightweight formula absorbs quickly to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for a renewed radiance. Apply Time Repair Serum mornings and evenings to face and neck after cleansing, follow with a moisturizer and sunscreen. So let's look at this. So it kind of like just basically looks like a lotion-y type of a serum. And when I was smelling this, because I have smelled it and you know like looked at it, but I haven't actually like really used it to be able to give you like a review. It reminds me of um, Sunflowers perfume. Like so much like that. I think it smells really nice, so I love the scent of it, but you know, hopefully there's, hopefully that's a natural sort of a scent. Quickly looking, I don't see fragrance, but it doesn't mean it's not in there somewhere. Yes, it is in there, but it's kind of like two thirds of the way down. Okay, so there is fragrance in it, so I mean, sometimes companies do that with skincare, but I would prefer it not to have that, even though it does smell nice, but Anyway, it, you know, it has kind of like a nice texture to it. You can't see it. Why am I showing you my hand? <laughs> but it has like a nice feeling to it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a, a serum-y feel, but it feels tacky. So I would probably not use this in the mornings. I would use this probably just in the evenings because I would not like that tacky feel on my face at all. I don't know if that'll set down, but it doesn't feel like it's going to. So. I would probably just use this in the evenings. Next is a mascara, and this is by Makeup Eraser. It is the Makeup Eraser Ampla Lash Ampla Mascara, and then it says Mascara Serum, but on here it says it's mascara, so maybe it's like a serum plus a mascara, like color plus a serum. Anyway, let's read about it. It's a value of $23, and it says, from the creators of the Makeup Eraser, we introduce to you Ampla Mascara. Use this bold mascara to seriously amp up your look by creating a full and thick set of lashes. And it says, generously apply Ampla Mascara to your lashes after curling. So I did try this yesterday, so I'm not wearing it today, I'm wearing something different. Um, I really like the packaging on it, like it's very kind of like weighty feeling and it feels fancy, so I like the packaging. It, it just, you know, feels like nice quality. Um, I don't know if this is one of these mascaras that's gonna maybe get better with time, like as it gets a little bit goopier, but I prefer kind of goopy thick mascaras because they give a lot of volume and they really build on themselves nicely. So that's like a personal preference for me. Um, this one really just, I had to use a lot of layers to really get any kind of volume with it, but I didn't notice like a lot of smudging with it, so that's good, um, but it just didn't, it wasn't just like intense enough looking for me. I like really bold lashes and this was more kind of on the natural to bold side. I wouldn't say full on natural. If you just apply a little bit, it's definitely natural looking. But if you keep layering it like I did, you can get a little bit more volume, but not like super volume. And this is the Coastal Scents Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette. And then you also get a bonus item, the Angled Blush Brush. So let me read about this. This is a value of $13.95 for the palette and then $6 for the brush. It says, everything for a stunning face all in one palette. It's all about your creativity. It's all about your look. 
BoxyCharm tip. Apply the bronzers to achieve an even skin tone, use the contouring tones for well-defined cheekbones, and blushes for just the right finishing touch. Mix and match color combinations or blend colors together to achieve your perfect look. So, I forgot to use the um, brush today, but I really like the brush. Like, it seems like it's gonna be perfect for traveling and it's really soft and I really like this. So I will definitely keep this brush and definitely use it for traveling because I like it's shedding a little bit, so that's a bummer. But um, it just seems like a perfect one for travel, so I will totally keep this for that. And then the palette is cute looking because it's like pink and patterned and girly and I always like that, that's really cute. And this is what it looks like, so I do have pretty much all of this on my face today. I used like the contouring kind of colors. I used a combination of these two kind of as my contour. I use this sort of like up on my forehead a little bit. And then I have mostly this blush and just a little pop of that one because these are pretty pigmented. Um, I wouldn't say this is like the nicest quality, but for $14, I don't think it's bad at all. So, you know, I'd say you're getting a pretty nice palette there for, for $14. Um, these are kind of like, I don't even know how to describe them. They're, they're not buttery. That's how I just, you know, sum them up is that they're not buttery sort of powders, but they are pigmented. Um, they do blend, but they are that kind of formula that they, that they kind of stick where they go. So you really have to like tap off your brush, really like, don't like smash it onto your face, you know, just like lightly buff it on, you know, and kind of get to the desired um, intensity that you want slowly rather than just slapping it on there. Because if you slap it on, it's going to stay right where you slap it. So yeah, but there they all are. So I like this. I'm surprised at how light that is. I didn't realize how light that is until I see it in this watch, but it almost looks like a highlighter, but I wouldn't use as a as a highlighter. I used it kind of as a combo with that as a contour. So anyway, I think this is pretty nice. And there's an eyeshadow crayon. This is the Beauty For Real Shadow Sticks. And it's a value of $19. It says this paraben free and cruelty free, long wearing cream to powder eyeshadow stick is easy to apply and is infused with meadow foam seed oil. Meadow foam seed oil to moisturize, rejuvenate, and reduce signs of aging. Apply shadow to desired areas and blend in immediately. You will only have about 15 seconds to blend as once the color sets, it stays in place until removed. So I did use this um, several times and I do have this as a base today. This isn't really like what you're mainly seeing on my lid, but it's really pretty. Like, I really like this. This reminds me of one of my um, MAC cream shadows. Like that's gorgeous and they're right. I mean, this really does set. So you have to work quickly when you blend it. It does blend really nicely um, when it's first applied. So it's easy to work with then, but once it sets, I mean, it really does set and it becomes that set, that kind of like powdery finish. So I'm impressed with this and it wore really well. I think it's beautiful. I love the color. So yeah, I think this is definitely a win. I like this a lot. I really like the color too, so yay on this. And lastly, there is a liquid lipstick in here. This is the Dirty Little Secret Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is a value of $10. It says create a long lasting velvet matte lip with this gorgeous liquid lipstick newly launched for Dirty Little Secret. Use the applicator wand to start at the center of your lips, working your way out towards the edges and carefully line your lips. A little goes a long way with this liquid lipstick. And I got it in the color Phantom. It's what I'm wearing right now. And this is like a whoa statement red lip. The packaging is adorable on this. I love it. I love the outside packaging with the polka dots. I love this. It like reminds me of like Minnie Mouse or something. It's just cute. So I love the packaging on it. Um, really pretty color. Like I think it's fun. You know, it's a bright, just statement red lip sort of has that kind of like warm orangey tone to it um as far as the formula goes on this it's definitely a liquid lipstick so i mean it feels very kind of powdery on my lips um i'm not really noticing the line very much so that's nice um but i mean it definitely feels like a liquid lipstick it feels kind of like that like 
papery sort of a feel on my lips, but it's not getting on my teeth, it's not moving anywhere, so that's kind of the trade-off with liquid lipsticks is that, you know, they're not as comfortable, but they usually wear pretty well, but they also do that there or not there kind of a deal. So when they wear off, they can be a little weird, but I do really like this. I think it's pretty as far as a liquid lipstick. I think it's a fun red. I do um, like how it applied, love the packaging. So this is a win and I think $10, that's a great price. Okay, so that is everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added up the value and it is $119.95. So I think another really good box. I always enjoy BoxyCharm. I think it's a great one. My standout products are definitely the liquid lipstick and the shadow stick. I really like both of those. But I'm excited about this as well and the brush too. Like I always like color cosmetics and tools and so I love all that stuff. So I'm excited about it. I think it was another good box this month. If you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your box. If you got like different colors than me or let me know what your favorite thing was that you got in your box. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!